What's going on guys, it's Amanda, and today I'm back with some of the best accessories for the new iPhone 10. So let's get this out of the way. Yes, the AirPods are some of the best in-ear wireless earbuds for your iPhone. They don't look that great, so I got mine colorwear matte black. They've taken a beating, they've been in the washer, but the AirPods still function, and yes, they have some chips, but I did that trying to tap and get the water out of them. But the AirPods themselves are just amazing. Not necessarily in sound quality, but battery life, how quick they recharge, and how you can view your battery life, and just the convenience of them, they're just awesome. But if you're not about that AirPod life, no worries, I got you with a pair of Sennheiser over-the-ear active noise canceling headphones that were originally $200, and now they're $150. $200, I still thought they're probably some of the best Bluetooth headphones you could get with noise canceling. However, at 150, these are just an awesome buy. Steel, they're comfortable, they sound great. The noise canceling is not on par with like the Bose, but those are double the price and you can't expect that. But these still provide a lot for the money. It used to be rare that I would ever see Apple Watches and now they're everywhere. I love having this and all my little notifications right here on my wrist. I could turn some things on and off in my smart home. Now I even have the LTE version so I can make phone calls or get any kind of notifications while I'm out. Even if I forgot my phone at home, it automatically just turns on or you can manually turn it on and off whenever you need to. But this thing has just become basically like having a phone on your wrist. It's really kind of crazy to me whenever I stop and think about all the things that I actually can do with this. But if you don't need all of that, just check out one of the Series 1, Series 2. You don't even have to have the newest, latest, greatest one. They all are still great washes. Just stay away from the original one because it was a bit slower. Next up, we have the Brave and Stride 360. This is a Bluetooth waterproof speaker with an IP67 rating. It can be submerged up to one meter for up to 30 minutes, and it's built lightweight. It's easy to take along with you. It fits in things like your cup holders. The sound is great. Right here on the ends where you see that Braven logo, on each end there's passive radiators, and it's got that full 360 sound. This grill looks like it's metal, but I believe it's just a plastic. Looking at, I guess, what you would call the top, depending on which way you have it orientated, you have all of your control buttons. And then on the bottom side, under this weather seal flap, you have an auxiliary out, your micro USB to charge, and a USB out, so if you wanna charge your phone. And this thing has a 12 hour play time. If you don't need all of that and you just want something that sounds better than your phone, Anchor has this little Soundcore Nano, which is just a beautiful, tiny, cute little speaker. Right now, today on Amazon, it's $20.99, but I've seen it get down as low as like 15 bucks. And for the size and portability, it has some decent sound. And here you can see it compared to my AirPods, it's just tiny. So this may be the most important thing that I would suggest any new iPhone 10 or iPhone 8 owner to buy. This is a lightning to USB-C charger. I truly think Apple should have included this, but if you're a MacBook owner, you just have to purchase the case and you can use your MacBook charger, but don't go out and buy one. Anchor has a 30 watt with power delivery that will do it just fine for under $22 right now on Amazon. Next up, if you like silicone cases but don't want to pay Apple's crazy price and you want more coverage and better protection, this one is under, I think it's like $16.99 right now on Amazon. And I think this is a beautiful color. They do have a few others. It's coated on the inside just like Apple's own. And it's like $17. You can't go wrong. And if you want a leather replacement, this one from Nomad, check out that distressing. I've carried this since the day I got my phone up until about a week ago when I got the last one I just showed you, the silicone one. But it's beautiful, made from Horween leather. And they sent me out a whole slew of different cases. I've checked them all out. They're all beautiful. They have different styles, whether you want the folio wallet style, you want one that shows the back, you want one that is covering your whole back, or even if you want one that's not folio style, but you can still take something long like an ID. And the last thing I have is this fast charging wireless charger from Samsung. And not only that, look at this, just with one hand you can grab it and boom, like that, it is now a stand for your iPhone. You may not think you need a wireless charging stand, but just like that, you can face unlock and it's just in the right position to capture your face. And one thing I love about this is, again, that one-handed function, but it also uses USB-C and it comes with a USB-C cord and a fast charging power brick. But if you're gonna already carry all these other USB-C things, you can just carry one of them and have everything on the go. Okay guys, so that wraps it up. I hope I gave you a few options for a few different price points on some of those products. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment down below letting me know your favorite item. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one.